friends, we are trying out a new food subscription box. It's called Sun Basket. It's a little different from most of the other ones that I have tried so far. Now, Sun Basket says that they have the freshest farm to table food. Uh, it looks like most of it is organic and it is all sustainably raised. And if you hear crunching in the background, that is my dog who always decides to eat when I start these cooking videos for some reason. That's him walking around. The meals are supposed to be healthier. They are 30 minute meals and developed by Justine Kelly, a California chef. I would heard about Sun Basket for quite a while and my neighbor's been using it and I just heard all these great things so I wanted to try it out. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna go through and we'll cook all these meals so you can really see what the process is like and what the ingredients are like. Now, let's look at a little bit of what is supposed to make Sun Basket different. I've got this up here on my phone. Eco-friendly packaging. Uh, this is all 100% uh, recyclable and compostable. And then this is the part that I thought was really cool. You can get Chef's Choice, healthy favorites from their chef, okay? They have paleo. So if you're doing paleo, you can choose all paleo meals. They also have gluten-free. They also have lean and clean, which is only 550 calories per serving with lots of flavor. And this is all right off of their website. They also have vegan, which is really cool. My son was vegan for quite a while. He's, that can be kind of challenging sometimes to come up with, you know, a lot of meal ideas for vegans and you want to keep it interesting and not kind of do the same old thing all the time. So that is a great one. Uh, they have vegetarian, pescatarian, and then they have a Mediterranean one that is seasonal produce with lean meats and healthy grains. So what I got was the classic chef's one, but I really would like to try some of these other ones. Honestly, I love to try Mediterranean also. I love fish, so pescatarian would be great, but my husband doesn't eat it, so I'll have to do that when my daughter or son are around. Editing Nicole here. Since shooting this video, Sun Basket has added diabetes-friendly meal kits too. And I think these all sound really good. And honestly, with a lot of the vegan food that I've cooked, it's really delicious. So I'd actually like to try that too. So maybe down the line I will. Now the Chef's Choice Paleo, Gluten-Free, Lean and Clean, Vegan, Vegetarian, Pescatarian, and Mediterranean menus that are offered. Those are $11.99 per serving, plus a $6.99 shipping fee per order. All of the first time you order, the shipping is free. They also have a family menu where you can choose two, three, or four recipes each week for four people. And on that one, it's $10.99 per serving plus a $6.99 shipping fee per order. Now, if you're extremely sensitive, I just want to point out that it does say that Sun Basket meals are prepared in a facility that handles wheat. And while the gluten-free meal plan follows a gluten-free diet, due to risk of cross-contamination, meals are not suitable for people with severe gluten intolerance. So that means that, you know, where they're putting these items together wheat might have crossed that path and even though they cleaned it, any wheat was there. So if you're that highly allergic, you might want to stay away from it. Let's see what's inside. Hey there, Mother Earth thanks you. Very cute. So the first thing is a magazine, which has, looks like all the recipes in here. Dun, 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 dun. Got some romaine lettuce, looks nice and fresh. This is wonderful, it's individually bagged. So this is steak with braised leeks and warm caper tarragon vinaigrette. Harissa wrapped chicken with artichoke, tapenade, and seared romaine. Sicilian chicken breast with salmoriglio sauce and broccoli. Oh my goodness. Big thing of ice made out of water and non-GMO cotton. Chicken breast, boneless skin on. Beef top sirloin. And more chicken. All right, here we go. I am about to make my first Sun Basket meal. Steak with braised leeks and warm caper tarragon vinaigrette. And here is the little bag that we will be opening up right now. This is what was in the bag. We have organic vegetable broth, organic Dijon mustard, Sherry vinegar, the cutest little pack of capers. Organic fennel, I love fennel. Organic leeks, two shallots, and organic tarragon. So I've gone ahead and I've prepped the vegetables. I have cut off the fennel. I have also, of course, you know, washed the stuff. Um, I've gone ahead and trimmed and sliced the leeks in half like this. I have rough chopped the capers and the tarragon, chopped up the shallots, and now we are ready to cook. We are going to start cooking. I'm just putting the leeks in here. They said to put them cut side down. So I'll let this sizzle for a little bit. 
Oops, this guy's falling apart. Now that these are browned, it says to add some salt, some pepper, and to remove them from the pan. And then we'll work on the shallots. Now the steaks, we have gone ahead and patted them dry. And now we are going to season them on both sides with a bit of salt and pepper. Voila! And a bit more oil. And now I'm going to go ahead and add our fennel. I just love fennel. Baked in the oven with Parmesan cheese on top. Die for it! Now we're going to add some salt and pepper to the fennel. They're going to go back into the pan with their friends, the leeks, and uh, we're going to cook them some more. This is my dog, Scout, who you just heard bark. Say hello. <laughs> I have gone ahead and switched to a different burner that's a little lower, and I've added my shallots and my vegetable broth. I'm going to cover this now and reduce the heat. Okay, this is hard to do one-handed. <laughs> I'm going to cover this and reduce this probably to medium low, and it will simmer while the vegetables soften. I've heated up some oil in my pan, and now we will cook the steaks. The steaks are done, and uh, they have not multiplied. I cut them in half because my husband likes medium well, more to the well, and those were cooking so slowly, and the oven is broken right now, so I could not put them in there to finish the vegetables are all done, I'm going to go ahead and transfer these over to a plate and I'm reserving the broth because we are going to be making something with it. So I'll just move this over to the plate and then we still have to slice up our meat. I was supposed to have a half cup of liquid here but I don't so I'm adding some water it says to do that. Moving on we are going to put our organic Dijon mustard and the sherry and then the capers and the tarragon in here so all right don't you hate when the spoon won't fit oh that's so frustrating come on come out i don't want to miss any of your deliciousness so i kind of use the end i'm sure this will be more cooperative Capers. Tarragon. This smells so good. Adding a bit of pepper and a dash of salt. Here we go, it's all done. Just putting the vinaigrette on top of the steak. <gasps> Looks so good. Now I'm gonna try it. I did sneak a taste of the steak before, but it didn't have this delicious sauce on top. Here goes. Wow, that is so good. And what I really like about this recipe too, is that it's very vegetable heavy. You know, there's not just a bunch of potatoes. I mean, this is actually a big pile of vegetables. I should show you how many are left. I don't think this is even half that I have on this plate. Let me taste these. Oh my God, this recipe is such a keeper. Yum. Just to show you that I wasn't kidding. That's what's left for my husband. I'm still eating mine. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and cook the harissa rub chicken with artichoke tapenade and seared romaine. The way they lay out the recipe is for you to follow. They have some general information here, and then you can see for two servings it's in black, and for four servings it'll be highlighted in red. Now, they will give you a list of what should be in your bag, and then they also tell you what you need from your pantry. So for this recipe, I'm going to need salt, pepper, and olive oil. And they also tell you the tools. So like a garlic press, uh, optionally, you know, fine tooth grater, medium bowl, small bowl, large frying pan. So you can have everything out and ready before you get going. And the other nice thing is you guys, you don't have to go to the store, find and buy all this stuff, buy too much of something, because they'll give you as much you know, vinegar or tarragon or, you know, whatever it is that you need. Let's check out what's in this little bag. Organic Italian parsley, organic basil, harissa spice rub, Kalamata olives. My husband would like this. He loves olives. I don't really like them that much usually. Marcona almonds. Oh, I love those. I could just eat that whole bag of those. Organic garlic cloves, cooked artichoke hearts. Nice. They did that for you. Oh my gosh, the littlest lemon. It's so tiny. And some organic roasted red peppers. 
My chicken was not in this bag, but I had it in the fridge, so now we can get started. Okay, recipe, where are you? Okay, here you go. Flipping through those, I kind of wanted to try everything. Oh, what's really good is this is like a cookbook. So if you see another recipe that you like, you can just go make it on your own. It's awesome. Now the steps we're supposed to follow are to season the chicken, make the artichoke tepanade, cook the chicken, prep and cook the romaine, make the basil vinaigrette, and serve. Now, one cool thing is that the artichoke tepanade, it tells you how to chop it and do all the stuff, but it also says that you can take everything but the lemon, because you have to zest your lemon, and just throw it in the food processor, pulse a couple times, and you'll have your tepanade. So I'm going to go that route rather than hand chopping everything. So let's get started. The first thing it wants us to do is to take our chicken, pat it dry, and then salt and pepper it. So what I usually do is I put some paper towels underneath the chicken, and then I will pat the other side dry because the bottom is absorbing into the paper towels. And then I go ahead and I just flip it and voila, super easy. I always leave this bag handy so I can throw my garbage into it. And it's often good to have a pair of scissors or kitchen shears nearby so you can cut open all the little packages that you get. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the Harissa Spice Rub and then we will go ahead and Add salt and pepper, and then we'll do the other side. Flip, little chicken. And then to kind of coat it a little bit, I usually just flip the chicken. You could always, of course, just rub it with your hands, too. Ta-da! Now it says to let this stand while we do the next steps. All right, we're going to go ahead and put the parsley from our cooked almonds garlic, roasted red peppers, artichoke hearts, olives, and the zest from the lemon. Now we'll add in two tablespoons of olive oil, and add a bit of pepper and salt. Does that look great? Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I've gone ahead and I've prepped the romaine. I just cut the bottom off and sliced it in half. And now we are going to make our basil vinaigrette. So I chopped up the basil finely. I'm going to now add a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice from the tiny lemon. I don't know if there's actually a tablespoon and a half in here. Okay, there's like a tablespoon in there, but that'll have to do. If that's not enough, I do have another lemon in my fridge and I'll add it if I feel like it needs it to taste good. All right, we are now going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. I love basil, so this is going to be delicious. And a bit of, you know, salt and pepper, which again, we can adjust if we want. I'll give that a little stir. Let's cook the chicken. I've gone ahead and put some olive oil into this pan. I'm going to now take my chicken. We're going to cook it with the skin side down, which is this side, for about five to six minutes. And then we will turn it over and cook it another three to five. Our chicken is sizzling away. I'm just gonna put this over it so no oil pops out. It makes cleanup a little bit easier. Costco item. Now let's turn our attention to this pan here. I've got some oil heating up in there, and we are going to go ahead and grill our romaine. Here's our first little batch of this, but you know what? I've never had romaine where it was done like this. You always have like the whole piece, so I'm gonna do the rest like that. Looking at the picture, it looks like they did individual pieces, but reading it doesn't seem like it. So now we have to try it both ways. Now we'll flip our chicken. Oh wow, okay, I'm turning this down a little bit. I'm going to taste test this. Let's see if it's any good by itself. Mm, it is, no seasoning either. Who would have thought, right? All right, it's all done. There's the chicken with the tepanade on top with the basil vinaigrette also just drizzled on that and on top of the romaine that we charred. So let's try it. Bon appetit. Mmm. This is excellent. The olives, the bell peppers, the garlic, the hint of the artichoke, really delicious. And the charred romaine with it, I took a bite with that bite of chicken, fabulous.
Tonight I'm making Sicilian chicken breasts with San Mariglia sauce and broccoli. The ingredients are here. Everything is organic except for, it looks like the almonds. So we've got roasted red peppers, garlic cloves, parsley, a lemon, broccoli, oregano, and there are the almonds. I've gone ahead and I've trimmed the broccoli and I've tossed it in some olive oil and salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna pop it into the toaster oven because my oven's broken, so I cannot use my oven. So I just took the broccoli out of the oven. It's nice and kind of crisp on the edges and we're going to go ahead and toss the almonds and the bell peppers with this. Adding the almonds and the bell peppers. I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper and then toss this. Doesn't that look yummy? Now we're going to go ahead and take the chicken. I've already got some oil heating here. and we'll let it cook for a while. The chicken is cooked. I've gone ahead and turned the stove back on and we're going to go ahead and using the rendered chicken fat, add the oregano and the garlic and saute this to get the sauce started. I went ahead and with some burnt area from the chicken cooking and I just had my, just kind of scrape that out with a paper towel. The really black part. In about 30 seconds, it's fragrant. We're adding the lemon juice and the parsley. Now we're adding two tablespoons of water. Now we'll season our sauce with a bit of salt and, of course, some pepper. Turn the heat off. all done and I have to tell you those vegetables that's my new favorite vegetable combination it was delicious we could not stop eating it there's the chicken with the oregano yummy sauce on top so let me taste the chicken now yumville this recipe is a keeper you want to make this even if you don't order this you want to make this it's so good my final thoughts on Sun Basket are that I really like it a lot I would definitely want to get Sun Basket again. I love that they have the vegan, the lean and clean, the paleo, the gluten-free available. So whatever lifestyle you're choosing or you need to do for health reasons, it's available. I think they have a larger selection. I think it's 18 or 16 recipes per week to choose from. That's far more than many of the other food service companies. I mean, the recipes are delicious. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'd love to know, have you tried Sun Basket before? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, put them down there too and I'll answer you. Thank you so much for watching and happy cooking.